In item 2, we're asked to find the maximum bending stress, that means a maximum normal stress for this teeter-totter. That's 19 foot long. We have two equally weighted children, but we also have the self-weight of this 8 inch wide by 1.5 inch thick beam right, laid flat so that we can actually sit on it. And so we could verify real quick that we've interpreted this correctly by checking the second moment of area, which we have been provided here. Rectangle, so 1 12th of the base times the height cubed, and that indeed does equal 2.25 inches to the fourth. So we have correctly interpreted how the problem is set up. We want the maximum bending stress, so in case that means we want to look at the maximum of sigma equals my over i, And that means with a constant cross-sectional crop uh, beam, that is, that means I doesn't vary along the length of the beam. It means we need to go to the outer fiber. So we need Y to equal 0.75 inches. Top or bottom, bottom doesn't really matter here. And of course, we need the moment to be at its maximum value. Right? And so with effectively two cantilever beams here, we can go either to the right or to the left. Let's go just to the right of the fulcrum for our cut and we will find our maximum moment located there. There's our beam, there's our distributed load acting downwards, and there's our 90 pounds for the child. And so Let's get our shear in there and our bending moment. This is at the fulcrum, so let's call this point F for the heck of it. And of course, to find our maximum moment here, we just sum moments about point F. And so we'll have our moment caused by the child at 90 pounds times 8 feet. And then the distributed load will act at the centroid of the 9.5 foot length. So we'll have plus 3 pounds per foot times 9.5 feet for the resultant times this moment arm. And then, oops, plus. M, set it equal to zero for equilibrium, and our maximum moment, the moment at F. Let's get that equation to look proper here. MF then will be equal to a minus 855.4 pound feet. Okay, and then we can go and calculate our max normal stress caused by bending, then that will be equal to mc over i, so that's 855.4 pound foot, then I'm going to convert into pound inches. Notice I dropped the minus sign because whether we go top or bottom is not going to matter in this instance. We're going to get the same uh, kind of answer. And so we go to the top, that would be 0.75 inches. That would be tension in this case. And we have a moment of inertia of 2.25 inches to the fourth. And we'll get an answer of 3,422 PSI. And that would lead us into a final answer of 3.4 KSI. Again, that could be plus or minus, depending on how we want to express it.